Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand JavaScript control statements. We understood that control statements are used to control the flow of execution of code. In the previous video tutorials, we understood JavaScript conditional or selection statements. Conditional or selection statements are used to execute the code based on the result of a given conditional expression. If, if else, else if ladder switch case are considered as conditional or selection statements, they execute code based on the result of a given conditional expression, true or false. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, we are going to understand JavaScript looping or iterative statements. Before we proceed and understand what are JavaScript looping or iterative statements, First, I would like to discuss why JavaScript looping or iterative statements. Why do we need JavaScript loops? I minimize the MS Word. I right click on default.html open with the notepad. You can see that default.html is open in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to JavaScript loops demo. Within the body section, I have already written opening script tag and closing script tag. Within that, we can embed the JavaScript code, right? I minimize the notepad. I right click on default.html, open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html is open in the Chrome. Title is set to JavaScript loops demo. I want to display here hello world once. What I have to do then? I need to go to the body section. Within the script tag, I need to write document dot write. In double quotations, I write hello world and I use the break tag so that the browser should move the cursor to the next line. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello world is displayed once. What if I need to display hello world five times? What I have to do? I need to copy this line of code, paste four more times. One, two, three, four. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello world is displayed five times. One, two, three, four, five. What if I need to display hello world 10 times? I have to paste document dot write hello world break this statement five more times, right? One, two, three, four, five. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello world is displayed 10 times. What if I need to display hello world 100 times? I need to copy paste this document dot write hello world break statement 90 more times that actually takes a lot of time as well as you can see that it is increasing the number of lines of code if we are increasing the number of lines of code definitely the file size also increases it is programmers responsibility to reduce the number of lines of code it is programmers responsibility to write the optimized code and also you can see that we are performing a repetitive task, right? We are just displaying the hello world again and again and again. Is it possible to display the hello world according to our requirement? That means 10 times, 20 times, 100 times, 1000 times, any number of times, just by writing once a document dot write hello world break. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible with the help of JavaScript loops. JavaScript loops are used to perform repetitive tasks. JavaScript loops are used to execute a single statement or set of statements repeatedly. They are used to execute a single statement or set of statements repeatedly. For, while, do while, foreign are considered as JavaScript looping or iterative statements. With the help of these loops, we can perform repetitive tasks. Or we can execute a single statement or set of statements repeatedly. Let me show that now. I'm going to select these lines of code and delete. I write a for loop here. I say for where i is equal to 1, i is less than or equal to 5, i plus plus. In flower brackets, I put this document dot write statement. You can see that I have written document dot write statement only once and we display this hello world five times. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello world is displayed five times. If I need to display hello world 10 times, I need not to paste this hello world statement again and again. I just need to change here to 10. File, 
save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello world is displayed 10 times. If I need to display 100 times, I write here 100. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that hello world is displayed 100 times. We just wrote the document dot write only once. So this for loop is executing this statement 100 times and displaying the hello world 100 times. Now we have more control. And also you can see that we have reduced the number of lines of code and it takes a very less time to display the hello world any number of times just by changing in one place. That is how the loops are used friends. So remember that to execute a single statement or set of statements repeatedly, we use looping or iterative statements. For, while, do, while, for, in are considered as JavaScript looping or iterative statements. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we are going to understand the for loop and then while loop, do while, for in. We understand some examples. We understand when to use them in detail step by step. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.